Hi, my name is Hope. I'll be. Oh my God! I hope you can talk lower than this. Hold on, wait a minute. Finding a man based on his cooking. Cool. I think that food is a love language on its own. If a man can cook for me, you're a love language. I can cook, but only when I feel like it's like absolutely necessary. Y'all remember when Gohan transformed into Super Saiyan two? Like when his very life was dependent on it. That's when I can cook. Like I forgot. I was gonna say something like Gordon Ramsay. Yeah, that means he can take care of me, and if he can take care of me... The way I'll be picking my date is based on whether or not their food tastes good, but also I'm trying to see if they have an emotional connection or backstory to the reason on why they brought that dish. Mmm. Who got the best hands, Chet? Probably the dude that don't have a bracelet on. Okay, I'm wearing one right now, but also keep in mind I'm not cooking. Uh, I'm going to probably say dude in the orange shirt based on what I just saw. Nobody with accessories is allowed in the kitchen, bro. Take all of that off. It's unsanitary. Wow. Okay. Um, Are uh, any of them like catching your eye? I'm feeling like, damn. These are not confident builds. The big slab of cornbread definitely caught my attention. <laughs> Who brought the first dish? Can I get like a top view? My name is David. Uh, what I brought today is cheddar broccoli soup. David Somali. And it's something that me and my grandpa used to make all the time uh, for Thanksgiving before he had passed away. Or he Ethiopian. I wanted to do something in remembrance of him. Oh, that's very sweet. He got that berry Thank you bill. for bringing this for me. And I'll touch that nigga. Mm, that was really good. Appreciate the 11 months, Zarin. Zarian. Zari. thick. <laughs> the cheese is really good and the broccoli bits. I can tell that you put some time and effort Two into, hours. Really, <laughs> into really cutting up the broccoli. And the second dish, the mashed potatoes. Hi, I'm Pablo. Uh, I made these mashed potatoes. And growing up, my dad's a chef, so he never let me just buy something right off the shelf. That you put cheese on the mashed potatoes? Do they do that? Is that like a thing? To make it, I hand mashed those potatoes for you. So I got some reset potatoes. Oh, loaded. Okay, he good. Never mind. He good. I added some salt, some peppers, some butter, some milk. And on top, I made some fresh bacon. Okay. Some chopped up chives. I love mashed potatoes. Anything potatoes is my favorite. So I wouldn't expect that to have a strong to taste. I'm going to be honest. I don't think it's going to be a strong taste. I think he lost. Mm, all the toppings that you put on there really brings everything together. And it does remind me about of the mashed potatoes that my dad would make for Thanksgiving. What the fuck? Can you tell me a little bit about the texture? Is it dry? <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Well, at you, bro. as good as they were. Yeah, I thought so. I, I, I could like as a true cook myself, I could always tell, bro. I think it could have used a little bit more butter or milk or something. I just I felt it in there. my I felt it in my but loins. I felt it in my it, loins. It was good. Okay, well, I got you next time. No, and you don't. You eliminate it. Hi, my name is Brandon. I know that ain't mac and cheese. Um, I made the mac and cheese because it is a family recipe that we've been making for years. My mom's... It do look wet, though. ...really perfected it, and she helped me with making it. We're a big spice family. We enjoy big flavors, so I just presented what I think shows that. The mac and cheese was amazing. The texture is so good. Not dry. I mm -hmm. might have to take some of that home. I love hearing so. it. I love hearing <laughs> it. I love hearing that. Okay, and number four, the big slab of cornbread. That cornbread look. I can't really shit on people cornbread because I'm a big I'm a bigger muffin guy than I am cornbread guy, but like I don't know, bro. Like it looks like so bare, you know? Yes, hello, my name is Ramsey. I made the massive slab of cornbread. I feel like cornbread's a very, you know, universal food. It's a nice color. It don't look, like, dry. It just don't look like it got flavor. Like, if you've ever made homemade rolls without a specific, uh, I'm not going to say gravy, but, like, a specific layering over top. Like, I mix cinnamon, butter to make, like, an icing for the roll. Like, you can make this pop, but I feel like it's going to be kind of bitter for food it's kind of a simple dish but you know maybe simple is out of the box i feel like i should just like grab it and take a bite yeah, let's go perfect. crazy 
Mm, that's really good. Is it homemade? Is it, yes, extremely homemade. <laughs> extremely homemade, okay. I made it in my, in my own home. This would have been perfect if it had a side of like honey butter or something. That's what I'm saying. I know, bro, I just know things. I just, I just know things. When you really get into your deep bag, you just know things. She knew. Okay. This fifth plate. Not really sure what I'm looking at, but <laughs> please explain. Hi, my name is Jacob. Um, that's Egyptian rice, um, originally from Egypt. It's rice with like these on. Nah, well, it might be good, but oh my God, what is this? I'm not even focused on the rice, bro, because I'm not eating rice during Thanksgiving, but Egyptian, different culture, y'all go crazy. But this, I know this ain't greens. I know these ain't greens. That's all I'm gonna say. Noodles we call shout here, and it goes great with my main dish. That's really good. Can never go wrong with some rice. The texture is kind of chewy with the noodles, but I do like that a lot. And last but not least, number six. Hey, my name's Jack. Uh, I brought stuffing. It's like my mom's famous. Nigga, that look like the appetizer from SpongeBob. Stuffing. Me and my dad used to hate stuffing, and then she figured this recipe out, and now I eat it by like the pound. Uh, and then just so you know, like if you don't like it, you're hating on my mom. So. Oh, okay. I'm just joking. I'm just joking. It's tough. It's tough. It's got mushrooms, celery. I knew it looked like it had mushrooms, celery. Well, no, that's not abnormal to have celery in your stuff. Onion. Okay, onion. Stuffing stuff, and then. Yeah, I have breadcrumbs. He didn't say nothing about like. Uh, green peppers he didn't say nothing about red peppers he didn't say nothing about uh maybe putting uh some people put tomatoes every now and again um but everything else on here is valid i wouldn't really do mushrooms but i guess you know everybody got their thing that don't explain why it looked like that though to be honest that don't explain why it looks like this like italian sausage spicy sausage so hopefully it's not too hot for you that still don't really explain why it looked like this but we like spicy in this household. No, it's good. There. No, I personally don't use tomatoes, but like I see people do it. There's a good amount of spice. I liked it a lot. Thank you. I just wanted Wait, to she ate it? Say thank you for bringing such amazing dishes for me to try today. But the person that I have to eliminate. Cornbread, nigga. I'm getting rid of the cornbread, bro. You could have very least like to make that pop. You got to have something, something on the side. Yeah, we should all hold hands. But... You got to have something Probably. on the side. <laughs> Jacob. Not because I didn't like I thought so. my dish, but I thought so. I think it needs a main dish for it to really stand out. Nah, you just need something on the side, Hi. bro. I'm good. Nice to meet you. <laughs> this fucking cut, bro. You deserve every bit of this humiliation. <laughs> Sorry. You didn't like my dish? No, I liked it, but... Don't let it play out. It goes great with the main dish. I have to try that one point. Uh, <laughs> yeah, get your fucking plate out the what room. Main dish was then. Chat, what would my main dish be? Oh, okay. Hold on, we got a stuff. We got a stuff. Uh, yellow pepper here. Wait a minute. Ooh. I didn't know they were switching it up that quick. Ooh. Okay, the presentation's a lot better this round. What? <laughs> I didn't think it was too bad last time. That's what I was at. I think the first plate is really catching my eye because that plate just looks heavy. So what I have is fire roasted corn. And then mm, I'm seeing things not in love with the corn, to be honest. I'm going to be honest and with I you. Have sweet and sour barbecue pineapple chicken. Chicken look cool. Rice. Nice. The rice and okay, chicken so combo very, look good. Not, the right, you know what? All of it together might go crazy. Your traditional Thanksgiving meal. Well, it's traditional in uh, well, my hometown. And I have reservations I'm about the corn. I gotta pick up this chicken. There's no knife. <laughs> yeah, you ain't supplier with a knife. Okay. No, she eating it wrong. You gotta take. You gotta cut up a little slice of the chicken. Put that in, dip it with the rice yeah. and the corn, and bite it all at the it's same time. Flock will appreciate you thing. with the big twenty months. You got to eat it all at the same time, bro. You eating it wrong. That was really good. I don't think I've ever tried anything like that. And I see we have pasta on this plate. So I made you some penne alla vodka. That is What's homemade. this? It's my dad's favorite recipe. So he That looks great. 
That looks that actually looks extremely appetizing, even though it's really just pasta. You'd be super proud to see it up on here today. You said it was dry last time, but I can assure you, nothing dry anymore. <laughs> okay, I remember that. That pasta is very creamy. I've had many of those pastas from different places, but this one really stands out. It's special. And I can taste that. I can taste that it's special to you. Thank so you. it's not dry? No, not this time. There you go. <laughs> she being nice, he's getting eliminated this round. Oh. Okay, and number three, we have the more traditional looking Thanksgiving. So right there, you got some turkey. We got brown and dark meat. You don't discriminate, whatever you like, you can okay. take. Uh, we got some homemade gravy. What the and fuck? Mashed potatoes. I know a lot of people hate turkey, especially because they always call it dry. Yeah, turkey can definitely be a hit or miss. How long did it take you to make this? Oh, uh, 30 minutes. The uh, fuck? Eight hours? Nigga, please. Whoa. Cooking to me is like. Gravy take like 15 minutes on the stove. You probably heated this up. A full, a fully cooked turkey from Walmart or Kroger or some shit like that. And what did he have on the side? Like it's like a love story. Was it mashed potatoes on the side or something? You feel me? Okay. You, you get it young. You sit there mm -hmm. and you you really just grow it. You make nah, it nice he tripping. Butter, make it, make it he dance, tripping. Have a fun time with it. Put it in the oven and love it. See it grow. We got Gordon Ramsay here. <laughs> <laughs> well, your plate is delicious. Reminds me of. Just Thanksgiving with my family and the turkey is not dry at all. School Thanksgiving eats. All. Number four, I see we have another soup. Don't get it twisted. This is not a cheddar broccoli soup. This is actually a broccoli cheddar soup. <laughs> Two very different things. What makes your broccoli cheddar soup different? Yeah, Mine's let me know. Love. Mine's made with passion. Oh. Okay. You know, I, I spent like hours in the kitchen just making sure it was right for you. It's two hours of cutting broccoli together. <laughs> That is some good broccoli cheddar soup. How's it against the first one? Mm. I don't know. They're both they're both up there. They're both really good. Okay, and the last one, the presentation looks really cool here. It's a uh, bell pepper stuff with chicken parmesan. Uh, it's a dish I came up with. I'm like real Italian. Like uh, my old name, or I guess older name, used to be Di Martino until my family had to move away from Jersey from the uh, like mob. So yeah, we like to cook Italian on Thanksgiving. This is really good. The flavor. Did she just put a fork in the bill? I don't know, bro. I don't know about her. She didn't pass the vibe. It's so complex. There's so many different spices going on. You know, the Italian it top, seasoning. It tops your stuffing. The stuffing no was really way. good, too. Uh, I'm going to tell my mom I beat her out then. Let's go. <laughs> I'll say Hope said that, not me, though. It's all I said hi, too. I will. You'll meet her soon, so you don't got to worry about uh -oh. that. Two? Oh, uh. I'm getting rid of bro in the middle that got the uh, the, the middle school eats, and I'm probably going to get rid of uh, the pasta. Those are the safest and the ones that I think probably taste like the most generic. No, <laughs> that's so hard. The first guy that I have to eliminate but don't want to. Should we hold hands again, guys? No, we'll nigga. Have to be the broccoli cheddar soup. Damn, it was bland. Tell him, Melissa. Just because I had. I don't know her name. I had that the first round, and nothing against you or your cooking, but. Hello. Hi. Nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm Hope. I'm Ramsey. Nice to meet you. Your Sorry, soup you know, was amazing. I have to compete with another great cook, so it's understandable. You guys are both amazing. Thank you for cooking for me. Sean, you talking like you ate it? I mean, I, I kind of did. This is so hard. It's hurting me inside to do this. Okay. So the reason why I'm eliminating this person is not because... Are you going to force him to hold hands? I didn't like their cooking. The other guys cooking, just their dish stood out a lot more. And I loved your dish. It was something that I've never tried before. You saying she fumbled, but y'all not paying attention, bro. Like, honestly speaking, it don't matter what your girl or your man look like. You need the eats. Like, if I see beautiful food on the plate, anything going to be beautiful in person, to be honest. Be, um, like, if I find that one girl that, like, really just, like, she cooking amazing, I got my blinders on. Why you lying? I might be lying. You're right. I might be lying, but... That means so much to me. It's not about being fat. That just means so much to me. Like, she didn't look at bro just now like anything because she like, I'm trying to get to the meat.
I want the I want the food. Like y'all don't realize how deep of a thing that is. Like making somebody happy through cooking alone. Or and I honestly am really sad that I'm not able to figure out what your dessert is, but I'm gonna have to <laughs> eliminate David. I'm sorry. I'm gonna see you on the other side. He's Somali, ain't he? Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice meeting you. I just assumed he was going to be Somali. What is this okay, jewelry? Okay, Sean, I can cook, so if you hire me, all you got to do is worry about the food. Why do you keep coming in here like that? Oh. I'm David. I'm surprised you didn't try the corn. I did. My man's is literally five for five. Oh, you did? There's just a lot okay, on there, so, so I tried good. a little bit of everything. Thank you so much. She saw black hands and was like, you got to get out of the kitchen. Wait, what did they put down? Ooh. Yo, Sean, I've been watching since your damn review a while ago. I just want to say you've come such a long way and honestly, very proud of you. Keep doing you. 33 all love. Oh, no, that was a love sign. Appreciate you. Love you back. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Damn, I might have to delete that from the VOD. I'm sorry, chat. But you supposed to be in support of situations like that, to be honest. See? What do you mean ban? How is that crazy? What's the first one? Did he really just put two mangoes on the plate? Oh, no, those are rolls. Why rolls at the end? That looks cool. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so that's called a buñuelo. If you oh. Don't know, now you know, I'm oh, they're probably stuffed. Columbia. Is it like a beef wellington? Oh, my God. 100%. I grew up in a family with, you know, a lot of people, a lot of Latinos always putting their cold. We cool. We cool. He was chilling, so I'ma chill. He chilling, so I'm chilling. Sure, Anna. So this was something we would always have as a dessert. It's basically like a cheese sweet bread made with cheese, dough, eggs, milk, some salt, maybe some vanilla extract. Oh, nice. So is this something that you grew up eating? Oh my god, like all the time. This is like the go-to. This is like just what I would eat even when my parents wanted me to eat an actual meal. I would just sneak the buñuelos from the fridge and just always cook it. So when I learned how to make it myself. I just had to continue. Cool. So can I just like? Yeah, just yeah, go crazy, go crazy, okay. go crazy. Where are you from? Sorry, I'm chewing. <laughs> That's okay. Chew all you want. <laughs> I was born and raised in LA, but my family is from the Philippines. Oh my gosh! No way. Literally, that is crazy. My aunt is Filipino. She just had a baby with my uncle, so now we always have Filipino family. We've been. He did not just say that. Oh my God, he did not just say that. <laughs> oh my God, he actually just said that. Wow. Oh nah, bro. You get, ah, uh, nah. That was insane. Eating balu a lot, literally. Really? Like, all, yeah, like all that the That was so actually, crazy. Or are you just saying that? No, actually. I also love that, that you're so open to diving into and learning about <laughs> This nigga is starving. Oh my God. That was the worst shit I think I've ever heard somebody say on one of these shows, bro. Other cultures. Oh my gosh. Yeah, wow. I literally read an entire book on how to speak Tagalog before I picked up. I feel like you're lying. No, I'm literally serious. Like, <laughs> you can ask me after, like, I'm like, like No, that's Tagalog. so like, I that's, that's I love bad. the, what is it called again? The cheese balls? It's called a buñuelo. Bun that's, that's, buñuelo? Yeah. Buñuelo. Buñuelo. Yeah. That's something that I can see. No, nigga, it's buñuelo. Myself just binge eating. All the time. Yeah. The second dessert. So, I made a pumpkin cheesecake. That yeah. look dry as shit. Sure. Yeah, cause that look. Nah, he gone. Bit, so he gone. He like, gone. On the softer side, it's supposed to be like a cheesecake bar. He the way gone. You said it made me seem like I should be a little concerned. Oh, absolutely not. I mean, you've had the other food. Yeah, yeah. You, you know yeah. I'm a good cook. Come on now. Are nah. You, you know, are you half? He ain't got no cream. Like he ain't got no side to put on top. Like nah, he he done. I'm full Filipino. All right, for sure. Mm -hmm. No, I'm, I'm half. My dad moved to the States when he was nine. Wait, what's your other half? My mom is completely white. Okay. But she's been all around, like, the South, so she's kind of got that little, she's got a little kick to her, you know what I'm saying? No. So, a little kick. Are you a family person? Huge family person. Mm -hmm. I'm the youngest in the family by seven years. Okay. So they're all older, but it's awesome because, like, the amount of advice they give me when it just comes to anything in life has been awesome. I come from a big family, too. I mean, I only have two other siblings, but my grandma had 
11 kids, so yeah. it's a huge extended family. Mm. And then third dessert, the presentation is very nice. That look at least like it got some flavor. So that's my uh, New York cheese, cheese, cheese. It don't look that great, but it looked like it cheese got cake. a little flavor. Uh, <laughs> it's got ras like homemade raspberry sauce on top as long as fresh raspberries to go with it. Oh, so those are, I thought those are strawberries. Okay, okay. Make sure you get a, like, I could get a some. I could get down with that. Because I could have just brought that out and you would have drank it and probably. Oh, okay. One. So it's a New York cheese, cheese, cheese. Yeah, cheese it's cake? extra cheesy. Like, not real cheese, but it's like, you know, the cream cheese in there. The raspberry sauce, all that goes together. All well, go, go, dig in. Dig in, Rebecca. Dig in, Rebecca. So I don't I know her name. I'm more of a baker than a, I would say a cook of savory foods. Ooh. Best things that I think I can cook is a citrus olive oil cake. So it's not a very oh. traditional dessert. You'll definitely have to make that for me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. It's really good. The raspberries, you were right. I think I would drink the sauce if I could. I got some back in the extra. We can drink okay, it later perfect. together. So you said you mm. are Italian? Yeah, very Italian. Did you grow up here? In I grew up here. I recently visited Italy, like visited my family's hometown and stuff. My uh, grand great grandpa was a bookie for the mob. He uh, wrote some wrong checks. So we You're still on this, bro. To get out of there. If anyone from the mob's watching this, I'm not me. <laughs> I enjoyed each and every dish. So the reason I'm eliminating this dish is not I love the dish. It's something that I can eat whenever, but I expected it to be a little sweet since this is the dessert round. So I'm gonna eliminate Pablo. Damn, so Pablo, no Escobar. Sorry. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Oh my gosh, you're so pretty. Wow. Thank you. Yeah, so nice, to nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'll take oh, one. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Definitely try it again if you ever do. Maybe not. Reach for the handshake, got a hug. Bottles of a little bit up in VIP with all of my. That was a crazy moment he just did though. Next time we'll again. Be sweeter. Mashed potatoes will be less dry as well. <laughs> no. But I got you. I got Thank you. Thank you. Both desserts tasted really good, but I think the deciding factor for me would be the presentation. So I have to eliminate Brandon. <laughs> Damn. Hi. Uh, oh my gosh. I'm, nice I'm, like, I'm sweaty for like a studio lighting. No, it's okay. I'm sorry, it's okay. but. That is the last hairstyle I expected from this dude. Natalie did not take the L just now, I'm gonna be honest. Okay. Yeah. I love your outfit. By Appreciate the way. it. I try, I try to keep it festive, you feel me? Yeah. Thanksgiving episode, so yeah. You got a dancing boy over here. Hi. Oh, what's <laughs> up? Never mind. Beth definitely just took the L. How you doing, Ho? <laughs> I'm Ho. Very pretty. Nice Thank to meet you. you. Nice to meet you. Oh, your hands like are so tattoo. cold. Yeah, you know, I'm messing with the food. I wash okay. my hands like 30 times okay. trying to make sure I didn't give you a disease. That's good, yeah. yeah, I actually used to be a chef, so if I. Why didn't Jennifer bring nothing to eat, though? That would have been a nice little change of pace. You know what I'm saying? If Emily had brought something along and then she had also, like, put it on the table for them to taste and shit like that. I don't know. I just feel like that would have been a better, better situation. So then they also get to judge, you know what I'm saying? Jesse's eats. I don't know. It's just a thought lost they would have been destroying my ego well you showed yourself up and thank i'm you. honestly I very honored to try your food i don't think women belong in the kitchen i just feel like what if she can't cook only one person being able to cook in a relationship is kind of crazy i got i got some more in the back if you want to take That's it home perfect um i'll probably cook her some food or maybe i'll have her cook me food this time mm. Mm -hmm. yeah. i don't know if i can you can make that that uh, cake i want to try it <laughs> wait yeah. I don't know if I can. You can make that that uh, cake. I want to try. No. <laughs> Why is he looking at it like that? That's crazy, Zale. Yeah. Oh yeah. Happy, Happy Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving. <laughs> oh yeah, nah. That shit crazy. Chat. I should go on here with a dish one time, just to see what the type, like what is it, like what I could be hitting on. I should really go. You know, if it's for eats, I'll go on the show just so I can eat. You know. It's just Jubilee. They say it's nectar. You don't ever cook. I cook y'all every fucking stream. I don't even know why you're saying that to me, bitch. That nigga, that's crazy. You thought you was cooking. Instead, you just got put in the oven, bro. And I'm not taking you out. When's the cooking stream? Next year, 4th of July. Like I said, 
like I said, 800 on DoorDash, by the way. That was one month in a moment in time where shit was hectic in life. I was looking for another spot. Y'all just take shit that I'll tell you in the privacy. He, he looks like right. the blind guy from Family Guy. All right, bro.